Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Lasty, here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FC24 Alma Team Road to Glory. Today, once again, powered by my awesome sponsor over at Elgato. Um, so just yesterday, actually, Elgato launched a brand new range of products, the Neo family. And I was lucky enough to be a part of uh, filming the campaign video for that. So I actually wanted to, uh, to watch that alongside with you right now. Building a brand. Effort. Perfecting your ideas. Effort. Ending a five game losing streak. Effort. And he scored. What a there are things that you should put your I'm good at that. And there are things that should be effortless. What a celebration. Crisp visuals, clean sound, perfect lighting. So there we have it. If you are a part of uh, the aspiring content creation community, you know, you you think maybe the barriers to entry are like the, the cost of products and actually learning how to use things, then maybe the Neo family is right for you. I'll leave a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and learn about that. Um, thank you for, watch, for watching that along with me. Uh, I was quite proud to be in a little uh, campaign video there, which was awesome. Uh, and if you enjoyed today, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Uh, let's get stuck into whatever we've got to do today now today is the day not in this episode right here but hopefully tomorrow's video will be the day where tots has finally begun now i i cannot wait i'm looking forward to streaming a little bit later on today uh into that 6 p.m window where hopefully the servers won't break i can't remember what it's normally like during tots i know they break during team of the year and nobody can open packs but do you reckon it's going to be like that for the first night of tots i hope not if so, it could be a bit of an L stream. But um, yeah, certainly looking forward to streaming and finally getting to open those big old packs that I've got stored up. So uh, I, I will certainly open them for TOTS Live or whatever. I'm sure we'll, we'll gain loads of packs over the next few weeks for regular TOTS cards and stuff anyway. Um, but yeah, so it's sort of like a final day of doing what I've got to do uh, in order to fill the club up, get another batch of 83 times 10s done. Uh, I also really wanted to finish off the uh the tourney today at the whatever you want to call it the objective game mode the friendly game mode uh so i will do just that uh so what i'm opening up here is probably my daily games played packs and i've mentioned this a bunch of times i'll happily open those ones up i've got like 40 plus or by the end of this episode i'll have like 40 plus very very good packs uh that i'm saving up wait, waiting to go for tomorrow for the next episode um and in order to get those packs a lot of the time i needed to open some of the smaller ones uh in order to actually be able to build an 83 times 10 here there and everywhere you know um don't forget as well they've been a bit crafty i have to say those tots 10 coin energizer packs they haven't been right at the start of the promo section and in fact i'm gonna check right now to see if i can open another one I'm not, I'm not sure if I've opened one today or yesterday or what. Um, but yeah, they've 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 re they've rejigged all of the the promo packs in in my store anyway, so that like the 750k one is showing up first. Whereas uh, I must have already opened it. Yeah, I've already opened it. Yeah, they're all in a funny order, and my 10 coin packs have been sort of hidden. Oh, I didn't like that. Must have I must have forgotten to open them one or two days in a row, which sucks. Uh, but yeah. Keep having a little look in your promo section. Scroll all the way to the end and you should hopefully find your 10 coin energizer packs. You might as well open them, right? But I figured, you know what? Pre-tots, one last icon player pick. Uh, why not? I can just about make it happen with the players in my club. I'm looking to actively get rid of some of my higher end fodder so that when we do manage to open a big old selection of packs... Um, I won't be running into duplicates like instantly at least I hope not anyway not to like not large large duplicates That would be a bit of a pain um, <clears throat> So that's what I've been doing. Uh, I mean, yes, some special cards did need to go in here as you can see a bunch of uh, Birthday cards and uh, a lower end Robbie Keane going on in I had to double check that I was putting the right Robbie Keane in because I'm uh, currently using the 91 in my main squad So uh, that is another icon player pick done. I don't know. I've lost count of how many of these we've done now are we going to get a dub? Most of them have been L's. And this one uh, is kind of no exception. Now, Shearer is the highest rated. Butragueno is probably the most expensive. Butragueno is the one I'm going to go with. 
for four winter wildcard ones to pop up. That is just an L. Uh, just a, a thunderstruck Ronaldinho would have done me so nicely. The Totty Mia Ham, the Totty R9, any of that stuff, I'd have loved it. But uh, it didn't happen. So be it. We've still got some incredible icons in our club that I think are going to be super usable even at the start of Tots. Maybe, I don't know if we'll get like Tots icons or heroes or something. I'm guessing we probably will at some point, right? If that's the case... Hopefully, we'll be able to upgrade our players throughout. Um, but I imagine, yeah, some blue cards will be entering my ultimate team squad soon. So, I ended up taking my Division 4 rewards. I took Option 3 instead of Option 2. Because the only difference was instead of... I got double packs, apart from that one that you can see, uh, which was an 84 times 4 Instead of getting two of them, I get one of them. But I did get 20,000 coins. So, I thought, I've already got so many packs... Coin balance is something that I need to increase and build up so I can open a big TOTS pack, you know, in the store. So I took the 20k coins. Um, <clears throat> and the idea was that I was going to open up like the rare mega packs and stuff like that uh, in this episode. However, they are currently stuck behind a bunch of really good packs. I thought they'd have been at the front because they're like, kind of like the lowest value ones. But they're stuck past the end. So I've gone over 30 now. I've got over 30 packs. So it means a lot of packs are stuck. Um behind it and in order to open them i could i could open them on like the web app or something or on my phone but that doesn't really feature into the video does it like right here i went and opened uh, an 88 exchange pack on my phone because it was hidden and then i just sort of i just just went ahead and back on back onto the onto the game and sort of showed you it that way uh, in the unassigned part but uh yeah it wasn't quite as wasn't quite as good you don't get like the walkout scene or anything like that uh so another batch of 10 player picks now we start with the daily luka modric uh and a few into it we haven't got another one just like him we need you know we need some higher rated cards please 83 again <clears throat> so 87 82 82 84 83 85 all right, Jack Grealish is not bad. Another walkout, please, EA. Uh, oh, there we go. Basher, nice one. Selma Basher. Uh, that's an 86 in there. So an 86 and an 87 in this batch. Couple 85s. Let's just finish it off with one half decent walkout, please. 84 Lorente. And then Kylian Mbappe. Oh, nearly. The Italian Arsenal Mbappe that is known as Jorginho. <laughs> um, so yeah, nothing, nothing like him at all. So uh, let's let's complete the the friendly mode, shall we? The the mystery ball friendly mode. I had five games to play, five games to win. Um, so I'll show you a couple of those. We, we had some pretty big score lines. I think I quit just I quit just one game when I went a couple goals down. Um, because I was, I was, I knew that if I just win my games, I'll also get the play games and win games done at the same time. Uh, but this one is, you know, we're already like three nil up. Sen with the the power shot from distance, it, it's odd to me. Um, shooting boost is the one that people absolutely adore. That is the one where if they get the ball and it's shooting boost from kickoff or something you'll really, really have to work hard to try and get the ball off them. They're just trying to work that angle anywhere from about 40 yards out where it won't get blocked and then hit that nice low power shot. Um, it's quite funny to see uh, see how much more effort people put in when it's the actual shooting boost rather than any of the other ones. I don't know why. And I'm the same. I think we, we all really, really like the shooting boost one. Um, but in this game right here, this was my biggest or highest scoring match uh, out of all of the games that I played in Mystery Ball in this uh, in this tournament or objective, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the first three goals actually just counted as one or the first four goals just counted as one goal. Uh, the first five goals just counted as one goal. That sucks. Anyway, into the second half, they up it a little bit, don't they? You get a times two bonus and a times three bonus eventually. Um, <clears throat> but I was just... I don't know. Obviously, this guy was just trying to get his games played at the end of it, so that's fine. But I thought, oh, I'm just going to keep scoring. I'm having fun here at least. Um, and even when things didn't quite go right, it just ended up dropping to me and stuff. I was getting quite some luck in this one. Everything was just panning out my way. It really was. So 12 nil becomes 13 nil. Uh, 13 nil becomes 15 nil. I love that from Robbie Keane right there. Uh, and then. 15 nil in the 90th minute becomes 18 nil uh and then with a 
times two shooting boost. Last last kick of the game. Robbie Keane can make it 20 nil. Come on, get in. I love those really close matches on the game. They're, they're always tense. Um, obviously, that was not one of them. So we got the TOTS warm-up cup done, uh, and we can claim the spoils for that. Uh, I will save these packs. This are uh, like the league prime players packs. 83 times 3, 84 times 5. They're not the greatest rewards, but it was it was all right. It was some it was somewhat fun, somewhat horrific. And uh they're the only two emotions that I felt throughout the whole thing. Um but yeah, anyway, my showdown uh Mukiele, oh, by the way, it's six o'clock on Thursday night as I'm filming this. Uh I'll have to check what the content is in a bit. Uh but yeah, my Mukiele got upgraded because uh PSG came from behind to win 4-1 at Barcelona away uh to go through into the semi-finals of the Champions League. So I'm super glad that I ended up doing Mookie LA, and I've put him straight into the showdown winner's boost number two uh, to work him up to a 92 rated. So this is as far as I got in this one, um, but I will carry on using him whenever I qualify for champs or play rivals or whatever it is. I'll get those games done so that I can work through the various stages of the Mookie LA Evo um, to get him to his final ev ev evolutionized, evolved a status of a 92 with some nice stats and a cool card design. Uh, we also got a Betty Pele. I'm now super close to getting uh, Di Natale, I think, is the latest one. Uh, and then, of course, from that, is it Di Natale the latest one or is he the overall reward? Do I need to get him first and then we play with all of them in the same game to get the overall reward? I think that might be it. Uh, but we're getting there. And then just to end off the episode today, uh, I got the last week's marquee matchups done, basically, just before I sat down to film this. So, uh, you know... It's 6 p.m. now, so a new marquee matchups will be out. Uh, but I, I can, uh, I can go ahead and get this one done. I, I not really had many players in my club all week because I'd always been sticking them into player picks. But I obviously had enough to get marquee matchups done. If I pop into the store again, has my 10 coin pack refreshed? That's what I really want to know. Come on, come on, promo packs. Is it there? It's there. 10 coin pack. You, you can't see it. But I'm opening it, and it is Italian centre forwards. Raspadori, by the looks of it. Not Todivo that I've just packed here. On my other screen, yeah, I've just packed Raspadori. Hey, it's a 10 coin pack, and it's three players that I didn't already have. Jeremy Doku being one of them. So uh, you'll never see that pack, but that's what I got. Uh, luckily, from marquee matchups, uh, in those tradable packs, we did end up getting ourselves a Bernardo Silva. Uh, I'm torn between selling him for about 12 or 13k, whatever 88s are now. It's kind of tragic how low in price they are. Um, or whether I just put him into an 88 exchange. I'll probably do that, get sort of 27 players for him. Uh, and then, yeah, maybe that means more player picks for Tots. I think that's probably what I'll end up doing. Um, because I am going to be, yeah, I don't need the 12k, do I, from that? Anyway, I thought I was getting an inform here. Turns out it was just a Libertadores or whatever you want to call it. Um, I should have known. As soon as I saw the the, the nation, I should have known that it was going to be one of those cards rather than a, a team of the week. Um, but the final pack from Marquee Matchups just gets me an 82, I think it is. Otavio's 82, isn't he? Yeah, so we did get an 88-rated Bernardo Silva, so it was definitely worth it. Uh, and I've probably still got the stuff in my club to get the next marquee matchups done now. So I'll work on that. Um, hopefully the next episode you see will be a big old Tots pack opening. I still need to qualify for champs too. Someone said to me that we don't have to qualify anymore, but it still looks like I have to. Who knows what's going on, but um, I'll, I'll get that done so that we're ready and prepared for, for the weekend league ahead. Uh, my friends, if you've enjoyed today, do me a small favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe as well to my channel if you are new. Cheers. And follow me on social media. The links are down below. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Take it easy. Stay safe. And I'll see you on stream later and in tomorrow's episode. Peace.